As the gavel went down on day one of the third special session, KXAN counted 10 bills already filed over vaccine mandates. Six in the House, four in the Senate, nine filed by Republicans, one by a Democrat. The GOP proposals include banning proof of vaccination in public or private schools, imposing penalties on companies and hospitals that terminate or deny employment to the unvaccinated, keeping insurance companies from limiting benefits to the unvaccinated, and there's also a bill that would extend workers' compensation benefits for, quote, injuries caused by employer-required COVID-19 vaccine. I am not in favor of that species of legislation. Austin Democratic Senator Sarah Eckhart told us she plans to file a bill to add a COVID-19 vaccination to the list of required shots for students in grades K through 12, along with two other pieces of legislation. It's very important for government to step in, to lean in, uh, and make a public health determination that there is a way to avoid this, and it's called the vaccine. Mandates are tough for Texans to swallow, almost regardless of political party. Local Republican political consultant Ray Sullivan says he's not sure any anti-mandate legislation will survive the 30-day session. That said... The flip side in prohibiting uh, local school districts or prohibiting businesses from taking actions to protect their employees and the folks that they serve that's a tough one, too. Daniel Marin, KXAN News. Governor Abbott asked lawmakers to take this up as one of his five priorities this session. And we have told you he issued an executive order in late August banning vaccine mandates by government agencies and entities. And the state is preparing to challenge President Biden's vaccine mandate for companies with 100 or more employees.